Hey, what's up developers? Welcome back to the channel. If you're building a Next.js app, you've probably hit that inevitable wall, authentication. It's one of those things that sound simple. Sign users in, keep them secure, and maybe add some social logins. But then you dive in, and suddenly you're drowning in configuration files, zero auth providers, and session management headaches. I've been there, and I've spent the last few months wrestling with four popular authentication solutions for Next.js. BetterAuth, Clerk, NextAuth.js, and AuthJS. Yes, now I know you may be wondering, Next AuthJS and AuthJS are technically the same library now, but there's some nuance in their evolution to treat them separately for their comparison. So why am I making this video? Well, I've used each of these tools in real projects, some small side gigs, other full-blown SaaS apps, and I've got opinions, strong ones. Each of these solutions promises to make your auth life easier, but they all come with trade-offs, setup complexity, customization, cost, security, you name it. My goal today is to break down what makes each one of these apps tick and share my personal experience to help you decide which is the best fit for your next JS project. I'll spend a couple of minutes on each tool, diving into their strengths, weaknesses, and ideal use cases, and then wrap up with my personal pick. Let's dive in. First up, we have BetterAuth. This is the new kid on the block, designed specifically for modern TypeScript apps, and it's been making waves for its focus on developer experience and type safety. I started using BetterAuth a few months ago for a TypeScript-heavy Next.js project, and I was impressed by how straightforward it was to get up and running. The setup is minimal. You install the package, define your auth routes, and configure your databases. It supports a variety of databases out of the box like Prisma or Drizzle, which is great if you're already using one of those ORMs. What sets BetterAuth apart is its emphasis on type safe APIs and a modular design. You can implement features like email, password auth, social logins, or even two-factor authentication without wadding through a ton of boilerplate. For example, setting up a credentials-based login is as simple as defining a schema and hooking it up on your auth endpoint. The docs are clear and the error messages actually make sense, unlike some other libraries I won't name yet. It also supports advanced features like role-based access control, RBAC, and session management with minimal configuration. But it's not perfect. BetterAuth is still young, so the community is smaller than, say, NextAuth.js. If you run into an edge case, you might not find a Stack Overflow thread to save you. Also, it's heavily geared toward TypeScript, so if your project is JavaScript only, you might not get the full benefits. Some developers on X have praised BetterAuth for its simplicity compared to NextAuth.js, with one user saying it's a great alternative for modern apps, though they have emphasized it depends on your use case. Other users noted that BetterAuth doesn't support client-side auth as seamlessly as NextAuth JS, which could be a deal breaker if you're mitigating from something like Firebase. Who's it for? BetterAuth is ideal for TypeScript developers who want a modern, lightweight solution without strong typing and don't need a massive community or pre-built UI components. If you're building a custom auth flow and value developer experience, this one's worth a look. Now, let's talk about Clerk. Clerk is a managed authentication service, meaning you're outsourcing a lot of the heavy lifting to their servers. I use Clerk for a SaaS app where speed to market was critical, and let me tell you, it's like the SSD upgrade for your auth flow. You wrap your app in their Clerk provider drop in components like sign in or sign up and boom, you've got a polished secure auth system in minutes. The pre-built auth UI components are customizable and they handle everything from social logins to multi-factor authentication out of the box. Clerk's integration with Next.js, especially the app router is seamless. You get middleware for route protection, webhooks for user management and a dashboard for analytics. Security is a big focus. They use HTTP only cookies to prevent XSS attacks and configure same site flags to mitigate CSRF risks. I also love their uptime as LA. Their status page shows 99.99% reliability, which gives me peace of mind for a production app. Developers on X rave about Clerk's ease of use, saying everything just works. The end. But there's a catch. Clerk's free tier is limited to 10,000 monthly active users, and features like MFA can get pricey. $99 per month minimum for some plans, according to Reddit discussions. Also, because it's a managed service, you're giving up some control over your user data and backend logic. One developer on Reddit shared a horror story about Clerk moving a free feature behind a paywall, forcing them to rewrite their auth system. If you have complex auth requirements or want to avoid vendor lock-in, this could be a deal breaker. Who's Clerk for? It's perfect for startups or teams that need to ship fast, want pre-built UI components, and don't mind paying for scalability. Now let's dive into NextAuth.js. This is the open source OG for Next.js authentication, and I use it in a project where I needed multiple zero auth providers, Google, GitHub, you name it. NextAuth.js, now transitioning to Auth.js, is incredibly flexible. It supports over 50 providers, works with any database via adapters and lets you choose between JWT or database-backed sessions. Setups involve creating an API route, configuring providers, and wrapping your app in a session provider. It's not plug-and-play like Clerk, but it gives you total control. NextAuth.js is free and open source, which is a huge plus for budget-conscious projects. It's also battle-tested with a large community and plenty of tutorials, but it lacks built-in UI components, so you'll need to roll your own sign-in 
pages. Also, some developers question its security credentials, noting that it's maintained by a small team without a strong security focus. So, still, for basic zero auth flows, it's hard to beat. Who's it for? Next.js is great for developers who want full control, need multiple providers, and don't mind investing time in setup. It's ideal for open source projects or apps where cost is a concern, but you'll need to be more comfortable debugging. Okay, let's clarify. AuthJS. AuthJS is the rebranded modern version of Next AuthJS, with version 5 being a major rewrite focused on standard web APIs and app router compatibility. I experimented with AuthJS v5 for a recent project, and it feels like Next AuthJS, but leaner and more future proof. The configuration is similar. Setup providers in an AuthTS file export handlers and use the auth function for server side checks, but it's designed to work seamlessly in server first environments like Next.js is 14. AuthJS simplifies some of Next AuthJS complexity. For example, the new auth function streamlines session checks in server components and route handlers. It still supports a ton of providers and adapters, but it drops deprecated features like zero auth, which might affect older projects. The community is active and the docs have improved, though they're still not perfect. One X user called AuthJS a honeypot to frustrate users to switch to clerk, <laughs> which I don't fully agree with, but the setup can still be clunky compared to managed solutions. The trade-offs are similar to Next AuthJS. You get flexibility and no cost, but you're on your own for UI and advanced features like MFA. Also, if you're using an ORM that's not edge ready, you might hit compatibility issues. For my project, I appreciated the cleaner API, but I still spend time tweaking callbacks to get the session data just right. Who's AuthJS for? It's for developers already familiar with Next AuthJS or those wanting to start fresh with Next.js 14 and the app router. If you want a free open source solution with strong community support and don't need pre-built UI, AuthJS is a solid evolution of Next AuthJS. All right, we've covered the contenders. Each has its own strengths, but which one do I actually use? Let's break it down. If I'm working on a startup or a project where speed is everything, Clerk is hard to beat. Its pre-built components and managed service saved me hours and polish is undeniable. But cost and vendor lock-in make me nervous for long-term projects. Next AuthJS and AuthJS are fantastic for flexibility and cost. Being open source is a huge win, but the setup time and lack of UI components can really slow you down. Better Auth, meanwhile, feels like the future for TypeScript devs with its type-safe APIs and modern design, but it's not as battle-tested yet. So my personal choice, I'm going with Better Auth for most new projects. Why? Well, it strikes the perfect balance for me. It's lightweight, type-safe, and developer-friendly without the bloat of Next AuthJS or the cost of Clerk. I love that I can set it up quickly and still customize it for complex flows like RBAC or MFA. For a recent e-commerce app, Better Auth integration with Drizzle ORM was a breeze and I didn't have to worry about managing servers or paying for a free tier that might run out. That said, it's not for everyone. If you need a pre-built UI or enterprise-grade features, Clerk just might be your pick. If you're on a tight budget or need maximum control, AuthJS is still a great option. Ultimately, your choice depends on your project needs. Need more speed and polish? Go Clerk. Want flexibility and no cost? AuthJS or Next AuthJS? Prioritize modern TypeScript and developer experience? Better Auth. Let me know in the comments which one you're leaning towards and why. I'm curious to hear your experiences. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more dev content, and I'll catch you in the next one.